What is up, everybody? Ryan Parasol here, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is part 7. And we're going to Site 16. We have no clue where the hell in time or space we are right now. Um. Yeah, that's part of the fun, right? Figure it out. Just an adventure, right, Morrow? This is your idea. Wait, those guys steal stuff if they run into you, so that sucks. Berserker ring. Okay, what this does is... It, uh... You can't control him. Like, he only will auto-attack a random enemy every time. Like, every, uh, every turn. But he gets, like, super, super strong. So, we'll try it out. Probably won't keep it on him for much for very long, but actually we don't want to use it here. We'll try it out later. I don't want to use it here though, because there's enemies that are uh <sighs> yawn. There's enemies here that are immune to physical attacks, so and he can only physical attack. Like I don't know which ones are for sure. I can't remember which ones are, but. Uh, some of them are. Aren't they? Let's see. No, these guys aren't, at least. Nice, double crits. She's so weak. Marl is crazy weak. She's actually one of the weakest units in the game, uh, characters in the game that you get in your party. Just not even like, I'm not saying like weak in terms of just like strength, like she's just one of the worst characters in, in the game, like just to have, um, I think it's generally accepted that that is true. Let's see if we can get all four, we can't, but oh I only got two because he moved to the last second. Damn that sucks. Yeah, I think it's generally accepted that Marl is one of the worst characters, but I love her. She's my favorite character, so I'll be using her all the time and not caring. Okay, we can show the flamethrower AOE finally. Mono really doesn't have much going for her, um, aside from she does pretty decent magic damage later in the game, although Luca does significantly more. And then she has, like, like really great su support spells, so that's about it. So she's a good, like, um, like, she has, like, a revive spell and, like, a really great heal and stuff, but in terms of damage, she doesn't do a whole lot. And there are other characters that have pretty good support spells too, like good heals and stuff like that, but um, do a hell of a lot more damage than her, so. Like Krona. Krona has some good supportive spells later. Look at the damage he's doing. 148. That's insane. He's a madman. We have three silver swords. Oh, nice. So that should help her do a little more damage. Two with that, you can. I'll do that then. 
Man, they're healing off more than he's doing, so. <laughs> oh my god. That was actually annoying. Luca's level increase. Let's see what we're doing on how we're doing on uh, Tex for everybody. Confused enemy. Hmm. All right. Oh shit! I hope they all stay grouped up though. Nice. We'll do that. Bonk. Yeah, her damage almost doubled with that silver bow. She was doing like 20-ish before, now she's doing 42. She's doing more than Luca, that's good. I mean, let's not say it a lot, but... <sighs> something. Doing something. Aside from be like cute and awesome, obviously, but Asshole. I think these are the guys that are immune to yeah, these are the guys that are immune to physical attacks. Nice. We get all three. Oh yeah. I think because there's the two that are underground though, we actually only can get one or something maybe? Oh no. I don't know how they work, but we just fucked them up, so who cares. Those guys have some weird mechanic to their battle though. Oh, there's a, this guy's a fairly toughish enemy. If I recall correctly. Well, we can't one-shot all these guys with a flare fire whirl. Okay, yeah, let's see. Yep, they are immune to physical attacks. I mean, she can't do anything. At least they don't have much health. More? Man, I should just go on the top way. I'm gonna fight him anyway. Let's see if we can. Oh, we can win slash all three? That's nice. That's what I like to see. Yeah, so you actually can skip fighting this guy, but we're not gonna. Not that much damage at all, actually. Would much rather gotten that crit on Krona. But whatever. All right, it wasn't too bad. Let's heal up with Morrow. Another one, another one, another one. <gasps> I 
Get on. All right. We made it. So this is the Aris Dome. The abandoned sewers. And site 32. Well, we'll figure out what's going on with that next time on Let's Play Corona Trigger. Oh, what the hell? The fuck? That was weird. Alright, next time on Let's Play Corona Trigger, this has been Ryan Parasol, the Occupational Memers, and peace out everybody, have a great day.